the art of estimating. The purpose of this lecture is to give you an overview of the estimating process, and to have a better idea of how various elements fit together into the estimating and bidding process. What is estimation? Estimating is the process of determining the expected or probable quantities and costs of the materials, labor, and equipment for a construction project. The Art of Estimating While estimators use scientific methods for tracking and controlling job costs, they must also use their judgment in ways that ways, which are more artful than scientific. For example, material prices fluctuate, and the estimators must try to account for any possible increases that occur in future, between time of bidding and executing a project. Estimators must also account for variables related to company capabilities, project risks, and local conditions such as ease of access to raw materials, and availability of water and electricity, shortages of skilled manpower, etc. Estimate during designing. Once the design is in progresses, an estimate is needed to establish a budget for the project. Preparing an estimate is divided into four phases. Planning the estimate, quantity takeoff, rate analysis, and finally compilation of the estimate. Goal The goal of the estimating process is to project, as accurately as possible, the estimated costs for a project, as well as the required amount of resources, namely, materials, labor, and equipment, necessary to complete the work. Key Role Estimating plays a key role in the operations of construction companies. Accurate estimates are needed for a company to be successful in the bidding process, while maintaining a reasonable profit margin. In small companies, the owner is most likely to be the estimator or at least to approve each bid, before it goes out. As a company grows, more people become involved in the process, and this additional complexity and reduced accountability, increases risk proper approvals needs to be in place, to compile a quote. Planning the estimate Consists of identifying the scope of work for the project, preparing a schedule for the bidding process, and assigning tasks to members of the estimating team. Typical tasks involved are getting local material rates, get quotes from subcontractors, compiling costs for special conditions of contractor, and compiling quantity takeoffs. Scope of work. During the planning stage the estimator needs to identify the general scope of work covered by the bid package. This involves understanding the bill of quantities for item rate contracts, studying drawings, reviewing specifications, and the proposed schedule. Often, this is done by reviewing the bid package and identifying which of the company's cost codes are needed for the project and what pricing needs to be obtained to complete the estimate. The Science of Estimating Estimating is a process of collecting data from many different sources and synthesizing these into a cost estimate. The estimator must take into account factors such as historical estimates versus actual costs, subcontractor bids related to the proposed scope of work, current and historical prices for materials, and job-specific requirements related to wages or materials. Scheduling the bid Once the scope of the project has been determined, the estimator must schedule the tasks necessary to complete the bid such that the bid is completed in time to be submitted. If there is insufficient time to complete the bid, the estimator must get additional help, eliminate some of the estimating steps, or decide not to bid on the project. Assigning Estimation Tasks If the estimating team consists of more than one person, once the scope of work has been identified and a schedule prepared for the bid package, the estimator must delegate the bidding tasks to other members of the team and communicate the deadlines for the completion of these tasks to the team members. For example, for a bid that requires the use of in-house crews and requires a schedule to be submitted as part of the bid, the estimator may assign the estimating of the in-house work to the person responsible for the in-house crews and the preparation of the schedule to the company's scheduler. Imagination in estimation One is objective and the other subjective. 
Estimating involves formulas and calculations to get the lengths, areas, volumes or weights. It also requires imagination, assumptions and judgment. It is science, though not fully, until the quantity takeoffs and art comes into play during pricing. The science portion that involves formulas and math may be the same for everyone. The art element is the one that differentiates the total cost of a project. Estimating is not just one or the other, it is a combination of both and that is why, given the same set of drawings, specifications and documents, no two estimators come up with the same total project cost. Pricing, more an art. Beyond the basic math that it involves, pricing is always an art. The estimator has to make judgment based on market conditions, bid requirements, and other project specific conditions. When there is no historical database or the item is very new, pricing requires an educated guess. Pricing for new construction may differ from renovation work. Estimating will always require at least some percentage of subjectivity and can never be fully automated. Therefore, estimating will always be a combination of both art and science, 